I remember the first day that I experienced meth and all of this emptiness, all this pain, all this loneliness, this hunger that could never seem to go away. The moment that it hit my system, I felt free. Uh, the darker part of my childhood was the fact that my mother uh, had an abortion, which didn't work, because <laughs> I'm here. Uh, I had every reason in the world to um, be successful, to be anything but the drug addict that I ended up becoming. They tried with me every program, detox. By that time, I'd become an IV meth user, and uh, and I was gone. I was completely in darkness. And so my parents um, decided to try to pray. Something began to happen in their lives when they were desperate and when they were praying. My parents told me, hey, son, we prayed for you. I said, really? Like, that? you prayed for me? I don't... And they said, yeah, on Friday night. And I remember thinking, Friday night, that was the worst night of my life. You know, I... I came at 18 years old, I came to a realization on a dark night um, between Moonlight and, uh, and D Street, which is a location on the beach there in San Diego. And I remember praying over this bluff and there was a little star and I just began to pray. And it seemed like as I was praying that that star was getting brighter. And so I'm just calling out to the Lord and the next morning, all night long I'm there. Next morning I walk back to my parents' house. My dad looked at me and he said, son, you look shiny. And uh, my dad said, son, we heard of a place where miracles happen and it's called Teen Challenge. What happened was I went from drug addict Mike to pastor Mike, and I think that I felt like I had to always be God's special, anointed, powerful man of faith and power. And um, after resigning that church, this identity of pastor Mike was gone. My life be quickly began to unravel. And unfortunately, I even backslid uh, for almost a year. Um, not just had a bad day, actually went back to using drugs again. Um, it was devastating. And I ended up in jail. And uh, what a tragedy to see my kids uh, in jail behind the glass, to see there's Pastor Mike. How does that happen? Oddly, I was in the exact same jail that I had been in when I was 18 years old. God just kind of like brought me back to the same place where he did the miracle. I remember trying to write this letter to my family to somehow explain or apologize and to say uh, how sorry I was. And as I'm writing this letter, I sense the presence of God. And God said to me, in this deep, dark, dark hole that had fallen all the way back down, God said to me, I love you. God loved me enough to let me get to that place where I once again needed a miracle. What I discovered is that God doesn't just save drug addicts and gang members and sinners. He saves Christians too. My family and I were able to be restored together once again through Teen Challenge. So, drug addict Mike and Pastor Mike, today I'm neither of those. Today I'm just a son, and I have a father that loves me. <laughs>